The following program is intended for a mature audience. Viewer discretion is advised. This I've got to see. It's worth watching, so stay tuned. Welcome to the C-Note Show, Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. You are here because you believe what we believe. We believe in tribe. We believe in kicking ass in the world. We believe in daily routines, daily rituals. That's why I got the Oak Journal. I have to say I have no affiliation with the company, but I really love the Oak Journal. It's Oak Journal, theoakjournal.com, something like that. Uh, it's 35 bucks for a 90-day stepped journal that I started on uh, Monday, two days ago. And I had all my one-on-one -on -one clients in our, our small group coaching as well. The relaunch group start that as well. And it has a lot to do with our Morning Kingly plan. So you guys believe in doing Morning Kingly plan, having gratitude, kicking ass in the gym, being grounded within yourself as a man, knowing the three forms of confidence that we learned about here. And you want to know the ninja skills of how to talk with her in relationship this is Miss Cynthia Cruz, the only woman allowed on this show. Thanks for being here, Cynthia. Thank you for having me. And it's good to see you this morning or afternoon, wherever you happen to be. Yeah, afternoon or tomorrow morning or wherever you happen to be. Patrick's here. Kent's got his video on. Yeah, buddy. Steve's here. Hans and Jason. Matthew's here. Mr. Golis, good to see you, big man. I wonder how much snow is in there. If you can come on. How much snow is in Nebraska right now? Malloy is on as well. How much snow is in Spain, southern Spain right now? Oh, man. Hey, no, I think it was like a week ago we had like eight inches. Uh, I know in comparison to like other places, that's nothing, but that's quite a bit for here, yeah. Sure, yeah. Here, Kent's showing outside. Is that, that's got to be Minnesota still. You're not, you don't travel outside of the state for your job, do you? That's Minnesota, right? Yeah, okay. Minnesota, let's see. The Northeast got two feet. Rob, a guy we know, guys you know, Rob out uh, of New Jersey, they had two feet. He's going to go snowboarding, I think, yesterday. Oh, that was a whole drama. I wonder if Rob could come on and if he's going to be on today and talk with us about. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> Ta-da. Yeah, speak of the devil. <laughs> speak of the devil. Rob is here. I wanted to ask about, did you go snowboarding yesterday, Rob? Can you jump on? Are you there, buddy? Well, maybe when Rob could jump on, he could tell us about the two feet of snow. Todd is here. Malloy turned his video on. I love it. Malloy and his uh, hot cocoa are here. <laughs> with brandy in it i'm sure or something because it's evening time there yeah steve's got brandy already fuck it 1 p.m yeah baby that's right that's right <laughs> if i can make it come out your nose then that would be a win welcome hey, to Jeff. Jeff. what's that hey joe sorry i saw you there <laughs> you talked to me a second no you're good yeah when you can come in tell us about did you go snowboarding yesterday yeah, I did go snowboarding last night. It was uh, it was a lot of fun. We had uh, yeah, we got almost two feet of snow here, which usually never happens. So, uh, so it was a good idea, but everybody else had the same idea. So it was uh, pretty busy there, but um, but it was good. I uh, and uh, everything seemed to be okay. The the way that that we talked about so uh yeah can i can i ask you to come good. on in about five or ten minutes and talk about that situation yeah sure awesome we've got a oh, we've got a fun story rob's in one of our relaunch groups kent is as well uh, i'll see anybody else on here in a relaunch group right the second well bradbury when he can bradbury when he's not slaving away he's hauling the lumber being the only are you still the only effing manager there dude right now yeah. Yeah, I just got off a 18-hour shift. So. Shit, man, dedicated. Well, thanks for being here. This guy is a workhorse. I love it. And yeah, he's. I'll just press pause on that. Like this guy's the man. He, you know, I love that he's here. He's so dedicated to you guys and his own growth. Like an icon for this work. I appreciate it, Jason. Thanks for being here. Well, let's get the show started, gentlemen. Welcome. Happy that you are here. Yeah, you are a man starting to rise in the world. Cynthia's sexcapade spot today. I love seeing these. I get to see these about four minutes before you do. That's all. On her knees. She has high heels on. Uh, it's easier for her then to get on her knees. I see. Okay. <laughs> it's yeah, more that's... of an angular tilt. Uh... Uh, angular <laughs> tilt. I like where this is going right okay angular till i think you have those underwear too no we'll say that for another time <laughs> that's a different show 
<laughs> well, welcome, gentlemen. Cynthia, Cynthia's sexcapade spot is going to be usually about 45 minutes into the show, something like that. So if you're watching this right now, if you're watching, we've been cutting 10 minute previews and putting those on YouTube. So if you're watching that teaser right now, go to greatmenmovemountains.com slash VIP and watch all these for free. You can watch the whole show. That's what we got going on right now, guys. Love it here. Roger's here. Roger got his camera on. Awesome. Ty, I love it when you turned your camera on, buddy. You're dedicated. I love seeing you here, bud. Yeah, absolutely. Joe just came in. All right, let's go ahead and get... Uh, <laughs> So the theme this week is naked destruction and not just because she's on her knees, mostly naked, which is cool as well. Naked destruction this week. Naked destruction is around, uh, well, we had Roger come in and tell his story on Monday and destruction when there is drama, heavy, heavy drama going on in the relationship, whether there are heavy actions happening, she you know, loves you, but isn't in love with you. She is moved to a different bedroom or you're sleeping on the couch, or there is venom, she's shooting venom out, or snakes pop out of the back of her head and she turns into Medusa, any one of those, there's, we, we're calling naked destruction this week. And what do you do? What do you do? What do you say when that starts to happen or venom starts to spew from her eyes or, <laughs> or however you experience that? I've got a uh, clip from that I curated. I actually used part of this clip last night in one of our brand new relaunch groups, Relaunch Fire. We started yesterday in advanced group. I shared part of this clip. I'm gonna share a piece of this clip I did not show last night that segues into this naked destruction uh, topic that we've got going on of what do we do? What do we say? What's going on underneath the surface? What does she mean, right? And where do I go from there? So that's our, that's our theme of this week. That's what we're going to talk about today. All right. I want to honor you guys from yesterday. You punched into the chat for your staircase of courage question. What do you want? So I am going to honor that today during our show. And relatedly, related to that is today's staircase of courage question. Now, let me jump down here. Today's staircase of courage question is, um, why don't you have what you want? So what do you think is in your way? What's in your way? What's holding you back from what you want? Yesterday, you punched in what you do want. And I'm going to honor that here in a second. So right now, punch into the chat. If you're not driving, go ahead and punch this in right now into the chat. Why don't you have what you want? What do you think? What's your best guess? Right. Don't, uh, don't read from the textbook and tell us what the textbook says. Tell us what you think in your head. What's the story or what's the excuse or what's the reason in your head right now? What's in your way? What's holding you back from getting what you want? Go and punch that into the chat. So Cynthia, I'd have you, I'll, if you don't mind, honor, I'll come back here. Go ahead and honor our chat from yesterday. What do these guys punch in for the staircase of courage question of what do you want? Uh, Aside from <laughs> Roger wants to play soccer. That's so endearing, Roger. Oh. And uh, Dave had said, oh, Chris. Oh. Chris had said. Hold on a, sorry, hold on a second. Look here. Can everybody see Roger's hat right now? <laughs> There's a hat with two middle fingers sticking up underneath the bill when he pulls down the outside of the hat. That, I love it, dude. My son showed him that hat. Where did you find that, man? Do you find that online? Yeah, I found it online. They're ungodly expensive, but uh, it was like 30 bucks for this fucking hat. But I, I, I'm going for a COVID test later because I'm sick as a dog. So that's why I'm all bundled up inside. But yeah, I love this hat, man. Nice with the cat with the, yeah. yeah. Exactly. There it is. Yeah, <laughs> nice. I love it. Good to see you, man. Well, hope you're well. Hope you're well. Yeah, Cynthia, I apologize. Good, please. Honor our man. So yesterday I asked you to put into the chat, what do you want? Go for it. <laughs> Um, I didn't know that you were drunk again yesterday. Well, it's whiskey. It, there's whiskey in here. Like this isn't water, gentlemen. Uh, so uh, Roger had said, just my kids and to give them a great home and upbringing. Jason had said a day off. Yeah. Chris had said clarity. Dave Martin said, I want to truly love myself for exactly who I am. Kent said, releasing doubt freedom from the anxiety of making mistakes. Steve had said more affection. And Hossein had said less work and more reading. 
stout do the teach said discipline and resilience to pass excel in os ocs oh, what's ocs let me know what ocs is to excel in ocs I'm not sure i'll have to ask we'll have to ask stout when he comes on even though they make it go ahead uh ian <laughs> ian had said freedom to travel uh rob had said rob piotrowski had said they uh uh Oh, they play rugby here. It's not as big as in Europe. Yeah. I wonder what would happen if an American rugby team met up with a European or a New Zealand rugby team. Don't, don't ask Patrick. Don't, <laughs> don't, ask, don't ask Patrick. Eat them for lunch, Jim. <laughs> I can't, still can't do accents. Go ahead. Uh, let's see. Uh, see, Andy had said falling in love with being alone. That's great, Kent. So those feedback back to Kent. Um, well, Roger's saying that Jason is his hero. So that's nice. something he really appreciates. Uh, Professional bumper car drivers. Piotrowski with the line. Oh my gosh. Okay. So if anyone wants a pickup line, you're going to have to ask Piotrowski about bumper car drivers. All right, let's go ahead and jump into, well, why do you think you don't have what you have? Because I want to honor this man, Rob, right now for going after what he wanted. Yesterday, he wanted to go snowboarding. And Rob, are you there? Can you come on and tell us the quick story? You wanted to go snowboarding, but not everyone in your life wanted you to go snowboarding. And you did. Are you there, Rob? He's buried under yep, that. Yep, I'm here. Yeah, <laughs> go for it. But so tell us the quick story. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, yeah, so I, uh, I was going to go snowboarding last night and told my wife on Tuesday, we're living separately now, that I was going snowboarding and on the phone, she was, uh, she was testing me saying, Oh, you shouldn't go. It's, so cause one of the guys who I was going with, he, uh, he came from Colombia a couple of days ago. So she was worried that he has COVID cause Colombia has COVID pretty bad right now. And so she was testing me hardcore saying like, are you really going to go? And so I, I told her, I, we uh, there's precautions that we we wear masks all the time when we're on the mountain. Uh, I, I feel safe doing it, so I I'm gonna I'm gonna go and we can talk about it after if you'd like to talk about it further. But I did I wound up going and had a lot of fun and uh, what you told me to send I sent and <laughs> she sent a similar thing back and so uh, so then we had a a good and then I sent her the, the picture when I was out and she liked the picture. I sent it with all my gear going down the mountain. And so it's, uh, everything worked out fine. Nice, and, dude. So yeah, and, so uh, you, were, you were afraid that she's going to be pissed at you for going. She wanted you to not go. She's trying to get you to not go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So how would you yeah. have handled that in the past and how did you handle it now with the skills you have now and the knowledge you have now, how did you handle it differently? To watch the rest of this episode for free and other episodes, go to greatmenmovemountains.com slash VIP. Punch in your info and watch the rest for free. Get more affection, love, and sex in your marriage. Get less paralyzing fear and rejection. Never miss an episode. Watch anytime, anywhere, 3 a.m. on the toilet. Get full episodes. greatmenmovemountains.com forward slash VIP. The C-Note Show.